education. Tonight we're going to talk about the open power chords. As you know, or maybe you don't, these are power chords, these two note chords. Sometimes you see them with three notes. The third note is just repeating the lower note, an octave higher. The term power chord came about because you could crank your guitar and play these You know, without the, it breaking apart. Where if you were to play like a G to an A chord, those open chords might fall apart. They can be used too. Um, you just have to learn to get control over them. But, but either way, if you want to play ACDC, Aerosmith, Led Zeppelin, they use these open power chords constantly. So they're not using these like that would be an A. They're using this. You can hear that way it growls. And that's what I call it, the growl. Yeah, so um, if you're not growling, you're not cool. So, let's get started. Okay, so here we go. Here's an E chord. But here's the E power chord. E. So finger one's going to come up here where finger two was. That happens to be it's sitting on a B note, which is the five of B. Does that make any sense to you? Don't worry about it if it doesn't. So I have that note and the low E string with it. That's all I got. If you crank that on your guitar, I mean, and your amp with distortion, you really hear it. If I, now, if I bring that down, I have an A chord there, an A power chord. Okay, so now, finger one is sitting on an E note with the A string open. So it's just another two string chord. Pretty simple, huh? So you want that growl sound. The open string is more important than the closed note because the open string is the name of the chord. This is an A chord. So you hear the growl there. So in the E chord, the low E string is the most important note. And then D. I got the D string open and the first note inside the D chord. And that's the fifth of the D chord. Fifth. I'm not going to talk much about that right now, but when we say, when you see power chords, they're usually written with an A and a 5 next to it. That 5 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So. Okay, with the Do. Alright, so the 1 and the 5 only are in the chord. The 5 means the 5th note of the scale from where the chord's coming from. So here's E again. And here's A. And D. The D seems a little thin. The whole D in there. We're putting most of the action on that low D string. Okay, so you got that. So a good exercise would be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then I'll leave the E and go to A and do the same thing. Two measures of eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and three. D, same treatment. Two measures of D with downstroke eighth notes. One and two and three and four. So when I'm saying those downstrokes, remember quarter notes. One, two, three, four, eighth notes. One and two and three and four. And. Okay, so now, with those three power chords, I'm going to use G and C also. So, watch me play this. E, So I use G in passing to get to A from E, E, G, A. And then from A to D, I'm going to use C for the passing, A, C, D, C, A. Okay, so now G and C are a little different. They're going to be a G note, but the fifth string is muted. But the string underneath it, the D rings open. Just like playing a G to D note here. 
Well, you might say, well, then why don't we just do it there? Well, it has a different tone here. Okay, so now I got E again. G with that fifth string muted. How am I muting it? With my second finger, a little bit of flesh there just catches it. Don't over um, try that. You can just let it just gently lay down a bit and catch it. G, A. And C will get the same trinket on the way to D. I'm going to play the C, the top of the C chord, killing the string beneath it, catching the string beneath that open. The G string is open. So I have E, G, A, C, D, and then I return. downstroke eighth note instead of going up and down one and two and three and four and I'm all down one and two and three and four and and you've heard this a ton of times like I said ACDC Led Zeppelin you're not going to get those songs unless you get this down open power chords don't be afraid to crank up your amp and um, let it ring <laughs> your work cut out for you okay so if you um, check out you know go online whatever you look for Led Zeppelin stuff ACDC Aerosmith you're gonna see this and you can apply your newfound stuff um, yeah so all the power chords are cool but these are my personal favorite because they have that growl sound and you want to you want to experiment with it. I mean, so many people have written stuff with it. Now it's your turn to write something with it. And here's a good time to plug in that distortion, crank the amp up, and uh, let them ring. I'm using no distortion right now on my amp here um, for the recording and all. Um, and um, I, you know, it would be a good thing to plug it in, try it. Maybe down the road I will do that. But you get kind of the picture. You can still hear the growl. So when you let them ring out, you kind of test yourself to see if you really hear it growling away. Remember on the E, A, and D chord, the E string will ring open for the E chord. For the A chord, the A string is the boss ringing open, and the D chord, the D string rings open. G. Okay, I've only got, I've got one note held down on the third fret of the low E string. The string beneath it is muted. It's the string after that that's open. And same with the C chord. The string beneath it is muted, the D string, and the G string rings open. This is all over the place. Um, it's strange how it came about. And um, we could talk about that, but probably not tonight. Alright, so I'll see you next time. Good luck with this. And uh, rock on.